This 99 Retro Finest Paul Canerco is the final Finders Keepers Pack card, the Finders Keepers Pack 7. And I'm going to be adding this 99 Retro Finest Paul Canerco to an all Finders Keepers and Finders Keepers collection team. And that means that I can complete this Finders Keepers collection and unlock this 99 overall Retro Finest Steve Finley every year. One of my favorite legends, one of my favorite lefty swings in the game. We'll see how his debut goes today. He's going to be my starting center fielder today. All of the cards I'm using for today's team build are either from the Finders Keepers collection or the Finders Keepers packs, part of the cards you need for the collections or its rewards. We have Lee Smith, Robert Stevenson, Devin Williams, Evan Phillips, and Araldis Chapman in my bullpen. Lefty Grove and George Kirby as my two starting pitchers. On the bench, I have Gunnar Henderson, Jake Berger, Wade Boggs, and Paul Canerco. And then for the starting lineup, DH, Francisco Alvarez, Sean Murphy at first base, Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt on the corners, Brian Roberts and Kyle Seeger. The inner infield spots, Luisa Rice, Steve Finley, and Tim Salmon, my three outfielders. And I think the only two cards from this Finders Keepers collection that didn't make it in the team build are this Keith Hernandez, and then the Bill Mazeroski. But other than those two, I think everybody else is part of today's team. And I'll be playing with this team in ranked seasons at 930. So we're in World Series. I guess the next stop is a thousand rating. I am the away team, so I get a hit first. Lefty Grove is going to be my first starting pitcher today. And leading off this game, Brian Roberts has a full count to him. Steve Finley's on deck. And that's a perfect, perfect. That's a perfect start to this legend difficulty game. Thank you, Brian Roberts, Steve Finley, the final collection reward for MLB The Show 23, this Finders Keepers collection, my first at-bat ever using this new 99 Retro Finest Steve Finley. And he, oh, a little bit early. And we strike out. 102 on Legend Difficulty, even lefty versus righty. That's coming in so fast. Now it's Finest Francisco Alvarez coming up. And that's a strike him out, hopefully not throw him out, but it is. So even though we got a perfect, perfect single to start the inning, it's all gone. Paul Skeens faced the minimum. Let's go see how this team does on the mound. Normally for a team build, I would give everybody about one inning pitched, but I think we only have seven pitchers total. So I either need this to be a short game or some guys are going to have to throw more than one inning today. And who knows, maybe if Lefty Grove is perfect through one, I'll just leave him in until this perfect game's gone. And he can end up throwing a nine inning complete game, perfect game. That'd be pretty sick too. And so far, so good. That's two batters, two outs for Lefty Grove making his debut. A lot of these cards actually probably are making their debut today. I haven't used probably at least half of these cards. And that's a perfect first inning for Lefty Grove. After one, we're tied at zero. We have Kyle Seeger, Nolan Arenado, and Luisa Rise do up for us here. Top of the second. This is another one of the collection rewards. And I'm way in ahead of that changeup. Just like my opponent was to end the bottom of the first, Nolan Arenado was one for four in my career with this card. That one was a back-to-back -back home run in his debut with the 99 Paul Goldschmidt. They both won yard, I think maybe in their first ever ABs using them. And I do know that that video is on the channel. And I also know that I need to do a little bit better than the top of the second if we want to win this game at the plates. Lefty Grove, I guess I'm going to leave him in until this perfect game is gone. Well, that didn't last very long. And now Yelich is up to bat, so I think I'll leave the lefty in. Maybe we'll get a double play. And that's maybe a double play ball. Okay, so lefty's still facing the minimum. So I'm going to keep him in, I guess, to just try to finish the bottom of the second. We need at least a couple innings from at least a couple pitchers. So this is probably a good time to just let him try to finish this out and keep the shutout going. Cal Ripken being pinch hit for. And I almost never see people using created players. This is probably my first time seeing someone use a created player since last year a few weeks ago sometime in 2023 and i'm liking steve finley so far in the outfield my goal right now just get him up again as soon as possible it's going to be the seven eight nine hitters do up here in the third and goldie yeah, i thought he went yard and on a full counts an amazing at bat 
an amazing piece of PCI placement and hitting from Paul Goldschmidt. That's a leadoff single in the top of the third. Right now, really, my only goal is to not have a double play. That's what happened when we got a base runner in the first, and I don't want to have a double play here in the third. I thought we had a homer. That's good timing. Yo, legend is tough. 120 power. We did miss it a little bit. These PCIs are tiny on this difficulty. And now if we don't hit into a double play, then the top of my lineup leadoff hitter Brian Roberts is going to get his second plate appearance of the day. Second at bat. And right behind him would be that new 99 Steve Finley. So as long as we don't ground into a double play, but we grounded into a double play. So they're just going to have to come up in the top of the fourth. That was a bad swing. At least we're pitching pretty well. And my first trip to the bullpen today is going to be to my final starting pitcher, this finest George Kirby. My first time using this card. He's making his debut against 99 Manny Machado. And there we go. One batter, one strikeout. That was kind of a nasty slider. It seemed like it moved a lot. He's got a pretty solid pitch selection, and his pitches seem to move quite a bit. Now, this is legend difficulty. It's going to be the easiest difficulty usually to pitch on. But so far, I'm liking how George Kirby feels, and I would love to just get back-to-back -back strikeouts to start this inning. But Dansby Swanson has other plans. That's a terrible 0-2 pitch by me. Full count to Kyle Schwarber. If he hits into a double play, I'll name my fourth-born son George. No double play for us. That might be the double play ball. 78 speed, even with these diamond defenders, it's going to be tough. We got out number two, one out away from keeping this game tied. Now we have a full count to Justin Morneau. Ronald Acuna Jr. is on deck. I'm going to try to be a painter, get this corner. We kind of did. That was kind of nasty. After three, that was probably my most stressful inning on the mound. Leadoff spot coming up. Brian Roberts is one for one. One of our two base hits for this game. And then that retro finest, the final collection, Steve Finley, is on deck. That might be another hit. It is. I love Brian Roberts in MLB The Show, too. He's got a good swing. That's one of my favorite things about MLB The Show is there's honestly a lot of swings that I love. As Steve Finley gets his first base hit. What a beautiful swing. Oh, man, it just comes off differently off Steve Finley's bat. It really does. But as I was saying, I really like an MLB The Show because there's probably less hitters that I hate their swings compared to the amount of hitters that I love their swings. It's honestly hard for me besides a handful of guys. Even that is tough for me to come up with of swings that I don't like using. And that's a terrible first out for me, a fifth strikeout for Paul Skeens. I need my cleanup hitter today, Kyle Seeger, to do some damage. That should have been a homer. I'm so geared up for this fastball that I'm not able to get good timing on the cutter, at least consistently. And then I strike out. I actually can't believe that. That's such a bad end to that at bat. Following two hits to start the inning, now we have back-to-back -back punch outs. And Arenado's getting ready for a third, it looks like. So maybe I need to start waiting for that cutter instead. Because we just struck out three times in a row following two leadoff singles. That sucks. But we did have some good swings in the inning. If I keep pitching well, I like my chances to win this game. I just got to make sure I keep having good innings and scoreless innings on the mound. Oh. Full count to Ronald. And that's out number one. There's been a lot of full counts on both sides today. I think after four innings, we might have my opponent's starting pitcher above 50 pitches. George Kirby right here approaching 30. And he's not the first pitcher. We had Lefty Grove on the mound too. Back-to-back -back full counts. This one to 99 Trout. We're going with the slider. Perfect release. And Steve Finley. I never worried. I saw that it wasn't going to be a home run, but I never worried after seeing that because I knew Steve Finley would just easily get there. In addition to being good with his bat, he's also got some good defense. And now we're going to be on our way to the top of the fifth inning, a one, two, three, bottom of the fourth, looking to take the lead, really looking to get the back top of the lineup around again. That's really what I need. Six, seven, eight, nine hitters do up. I'll take that. Honestly, for legend difficulty, I thought he was going to miss it. For legend difficulty, if I'm not striking out, we're putting the ball in play. That's usually better than 
striking out, I guess. But I'm just also happy with all the ABs I've had. 72 pitches so far for Paul Skeens. Goldie with his second base hit of the game. We're waiting back on the slider, piecing it up. It feels good. I'm not... I didn't, I, I just always spam like the A button. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it's just like a, a, a fidget I've gotten myself into. Sean Murphy, please stay fair. Very early, I don't care. Nah. But I've kind of gotten myself to the habit of just spamming the A button. And I guess I was controlling Paul Goldschmidt while I was spamming right there. And just kept him running instead of stopping at first. That really hurts. And now with two outs, top of the fifth, Sean Murphy has a full count to him. And we hit it 105 off the bat. I saw the hanging slurve. I saw our nearly home run distance, but foul earlier in his AB for a split second. I thought that might be a homer to give us the lead. A little bit on top of the hanging slurve. We've had some good swings. I really feel like we're doing better at the plate than my opponents. And I think if it weren't for maybe some dumb decisions on my part, we might actually have a run or two. So now I'm going to Evan Phillips to try to keep this in the ball game. And I hung a pitch down the middle. I'm happy that's not a home run, but that's the potential right now. At this point, winning run on first base, we can't let him score. And so far, we're recovering well. That's one out. A double play gets us out of the inning. And Dansby goes yard. I tried to get that sinker on the outside corner and how badly I missed my spots. If we take a look at the bottom left of the screen is I tried to get it on the outside corner. That was on the inside part of the plate, man. That was a terrible pitch by me. My opponent made me pay. And now I'm down to my final 12 ounce, down by two. The way I've been swinging the bat this game, the ABs we've been having, I think I can score two runs, but we're quickly running out of time on our way to the top of the sixth when we get one more ounce. On our way to the sixth inning, besides that two run home run, we've pitched pretty well, but right now that's the difference maker. Tim Salmon leading us off over one with the double play on the day. And then we got the top of the lineup back around Brian Roberts and Steve Finley. They get to face the righty Camilo Doval. We're down by two. Oh, Tim Salmon tried to do what Goldie was doing, but that slider was further outside than I thought. Brian Roberts now, he's two for two in this game. But he's not going to be three for three. Jammed on the cutter, Steve Finley. He got his first hit in his last AB. Right now, he's my final hope here, top of the sixth inning. And that would have been ball four. I'm swinging. I'm pretty sure it was in the glove when I swung. I can't believe I'm swinging at that. It looked like it might hit the corner. I didn't want to go down looking, but that would have been ball four. And at this point, I just can't let my opponent score anymore. And that is what I wish I would have done on the homer we gave up. Was actually locate my sinker. Completely missed my spot. I'm still regretting it. I'll probably regret it unless we win this game. But at the end of the day, it is just a game. You know, I get a lot of people asking me how I don't get mad. And I think the biggest part of it for me is if I win or lose, like life goes on man it doesn't really change anything even if i'm choking a 12 and over and that might hurt a little bit more but at the end of the day this is just a video game i'm happy to be here doing this losing games than running away from woolly mammoths and now besides the homer we have six pretty good innings on the mound that home run still has us losing by two on our way to the top of the seventh down to my final three ounce if Steve Finley comes up again in this game, then I think we win this game. But Francisco Alvarez is making it easier for my opponent to not let that happen. He brought in a lefty to face Kyle Seeger. And once again, for probably the 11th time this game, I am early on a pitch that would have potentially been a home run if we would have just waited back. And he's worked the count full. Nato is on deck. And we're late on the sinker. Oh, man. My eyes thought that that was a slurve off the bat or out of his hand. And it ended up being a sinker. No time to react. Once I thought it was a slurve, we were done for. And now Arenado's one strike away from sending us to the bottom of the seventh. I thought it might be a hit. Decent swing. Not one of our best, but not one of our worst either. Still 2-0. We got to keep it that way. Going to pitch in the bottom of the seventh. And with the lefty coming up, his switch hitter created player being a teeny tiny bit worse versus lefties. I guess we could go to the lefty, this finest Chapman. 
He's one of the cards you need for that Finders Keepers oh collection. And we strike out Yelly. That's a dot. And then I give up a homer to his creative player. I just threw a fastball down the middle. So now, instead of a bloop in the blast, we need a little bit more. Down by three, thanks to that homer. We're striking out Machado following the homer. Dansby's coming up. He's two for two with a two-run home run in his last AB. We get him popping out there. Besides a couple homers today, I think we've pitched pretty well. Now, I got to hit a little bit better than we have been. Down to my final six outs. And we're down by three runs. I thought we might have had a hit with Luisa Rise. Good PCI. Chased the cutter. But early on, the timing instead of good killed me right there. Paul Goldschmidt trying to be three for three in this game. But now I got three righties in a row for my lineup. So we'll probably see righty coming in to replace Aaron Loop. And it's going to be the 84 consecutive save. Eric Gagne going for the five ounce save. I thought we just had an oppo taco home run, but it's just a one pitch second out. Goldie's two for three. I'm down to my final four outs. This is going to have to be a pretty good two out rally if we want to score here in the eighth. Sean Murphy's 0 for 2. Sean Murphy is 0 for 3. The good news is Brian Roberts and Steve Finley both are guaranteed at bats in the top of the ninth inning. If anybody's going to come back and at least tie the game, it's going to be that top part of the lineup. I just got to keep the score where it's at, down by three. Striking out Schwarber to start the eighth. Now to try to get these final two outs, I'm going to go to this finest Devin Williams. And let's try to keep the deficit at four runs as Lindor goes yard, making it four to zero. And besides the home run, no, I don't think we have a chance. 95 speed, way too fast. It's a two ounce single. Let's try to keep it at 4-0. Mike Trout's coming up. I don't really want to give up a homer to make it 6 to nothing. And there we go. Besides the homer, not that bad of a bottom of the eighth. Three home runs right now are really the difference maker, resulting in four runs. I'm down to my final three ounce. Legend difficulty. Trying to keep getting this rating going up. Trying to have a win with this Finders Keepers collection team build today. But Devin Williams might be kind of nasty. Brian Roberts is two for three. Steve Finley's waiting on deck. I thought he was about to be three for four. Just late on that one. Oh, man. And that's a perfect, perfect. His second of the game, I think maybe my second of the game. I was thinking about trying to go to second. I didn't really want to be thrown out. As long as Steve Finley doesn't ground into a double play, we'll be chilling. I guess I'm going to call my shot with him. He's one for three. I'm calling a two-run home run right here after a 1-0 start to this AB. That would have been the pitch. I can't believe I'm late on that. No! Am I... I don't think I'm late on it. I want to say that's good timing, and I smashed the PCI below the zone. So late on it, but PCI still nowhere to be found. Even if I had good timing, we would have struck out. Screwballs are hard to time up and get that PCI to here on Legend down to my final out in this game and francisco alvarez ends the game right there 4-0 the final score